show you guys some super exciting things I got going on in the basement. Good afternoon. Hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. I have got a very late start to my day. I planned on doing this early this morning, but I was struck with a terrible headache, y'all. I've got some things I want to do today, and hopefully I can get to them maybe this evening. It's gotten pretty hot right now. I like to do most things in the cool morning hours or late afternoon. Check this out. <laughs> Woo, got Bantam eggs in there. Y'all, these are Millie Fleur, Coach and Bantams. And these are from um, some of my frizzles, and I'm super excited. So I don't have a bunch of them in my coop right now. If you ever see me down at my chicken coop, most of my chickens are my big chickens, but some of my family members have my chickens. So I decided to get some eggs from them, get me another round of these going. So hopefully in about three weeks, we'll have some little cuties hatch. All right, guys, I got a couple seed packs I gotta get. We grab some sunflowers. I'm gonna put some of these sunflower dwarf teddy bear versions. I love these. They're a shorter sunflower, so I'm gonna put them in one of my raised beds where I've got like a little bit of space left. So I wanna put these in real quick. And I've also got some candy cane zinnias I'm gonna put up here and fill in my beds. And then if it's cool enough down at the garden, I'll be weeding. Probably end up doing that this evening though, but I gotta get to it. You don't wanna let your weeding get out of hand. All right, so I think this is the bed that I'm going to plant my little dwarf sunflowers in. I shouldn't have to stake these. These are pretty small. Uh, oh, it says they get three feet high. Oh, we'll see. Plant spacing is 16 inches apart, but I can thin them. <laughs> I need to save the seeds off these and mark them this coming fall. Get them before the finches do. Now I do share my seeds with the birds, but I do try to save some of them. Now these are 10 to 14 days germination. Pretty typical of a lot of seeds. We've got a little volunteer sunflower coming up. Not sure um, what variety it is. The birds carry these around a lot. I actually grew some sunflowers and some of them come up in my neighbor's yard from where the birds had brought them over there. Because they have a lot of bird feeders, so they go back and forth between his yard and my yard. Now I have some zinnias coming up right here. And I think these I'm gonna plant back here on the back side of this. I had some here last year, which I loved. And I have something coming up right there, so it may be some of them. This is dahlia that I planted from seeds. I actually got at Walmart and they were super cute little flowers and the bees absolutely love them. Let's get them watered. Good Sunday afternoon. Hope you guys are having a wonderful, relaxing Sunday. It has cleared up. We've had a nice rain today. It's actually cooled things off and I didn't have to water. So that'll be really good for the gardens. Y'all look at all the seedlings I've got coming up. I've got marigolds in here that I directly planted. I've got some over here that I started in the greenhouse and look at that. I need to go ahead and plop them somewhere. Got some bell pepper coming up. They got a head start because I had them going on in the greenhouse, but um, like I said, next year things are going to get started a lot earlier. I got experiments I've got planned already for next year. But look at my sunflowers. They're getting so big. Those over here. Wow, y'all. Oh, look at that. Got some flowers. Some buds. Y'all, I'm just loving these wild daisies this year. Look at that. Aren't they so pretty? So dainty. I just love them. We came out and checked the greenhouse an hour or two ago while it was raining. We didn't have any leaks. So we think the new system is going great. We had absolutely no leaks in here. 
So everything is going well. It's really secured that glass, putting that foam and the rubber together, sandwiching it in. It was really a great idea. Y'all, it's even cooled off in here. I think we're at about, let's see, we're at 83. My petunias are coming up. I think I'm gonna actually plant some more of these and thicken these up. Um, what you can do is just basically plant the whole seed pack because they're so tiny. And once they um, grow big enough to separate, then you can put them each in their own container. I saw somebody doing that and I thought that was a clever idea. So I think that's what I'm gonna do with these pots right here because there's plenty of room to put more. And maybe they'll be ready in time for flowering this year. But next year I will start those much earlier because there's no point of going to some of these local nurseries and buying these when I can grow my own in here. Oh, look at that succulent. That's so cool. So cool. All right. I am going to piddle out here for a little bit. I think I'm going to put some of my brick in the ground a little bit more that's around my clematis. Maybe check the garden. Probably won't go in there and weed a whole lot because it's probably a mud hole at the moment. And then we'll check the chickens. Probably need to get their eggs. Let's go down there and do that. Let's get an egg container. <laughs> Y'all, on my coaching's hatch, I think we're going to build a little chicken tractor. I've got an idea for one, how I kind of want it to look for the coachins. And then we're going to let them kind of go around the property in different spots, maybe up close to the house so I can see them because I can't always see these. I mean, they have an awesome coop down here. Very secure, very safe in here. Um, but I thought it would be cute to have a little chicken tractor to um, roam around different spots and be able to bring them up close to the house, have a little fence around it, one of the movable ones, and then also let the chickens work the garden. Maybe I can move it in here after we're done with the crops. But look at that. Look at my potatoes. Oh my goodness. Y'all, I cleaned out my corn row and that looks amazing. I got through like half of that one. I got to finish this one as well. But wow, everything is looking super good in the garden. Got to till down through there and get that grass. You just got to stay up on these weeds right now. That's just part of having a garden. It does require some work, but really it reaps a lot of benefits. Y'all just love it when God brings a little bit of rain. Enough to do the gardens and everything and then the sun comes back out. It's great. Time to work on my relaxing little project here. Everything's not about food around here. This area right here is my flower garden, which brings pollinators that does help the food, but also just enjoyment to me and those who wanna look at the flowers. So I um, had a little brick border here, and this is just from repurposed brick that we use around here for different things. We have like a pile of it. And I use that to make little borders, but I had it sitting on top of the grass. I decided to dig down further into the grass and I'm going to kind of recess these down in here and see if they look better. So I have like some old vinyl that I use to stop weeds. I may end up using a little bit of this weed fabric, but that's what I'm working on. So I went and got some pine needle bedding because I have a lot of this and it's free and I like using it for mulch. Make a good base around my plants. I think it looks good. Looks so much better recessed into the ground. And I had a few pine needles left over so I put them at the base of my lilies and my little bird feeder that I've got up here. I think that looks good too. I'll fill in some more. I'll go get me a couple more loads, but it's looking good. Daylilies are fixing to bloom. They're gonna be beautiful. Good evening. 
Y'all, I had to take a break earlier today. It just got really hot. So my husband and I went to dinner and I think it's cooled off enough for me to go down and pick a few weeds out of the garden. This will be a good time to do it. I wanted to show you guys what Seth got me for Mother's Day. <laughs> he went out and got me this at a local nursery. It's a tree called Arbicola Capella. Isn't it not just so cute? I love it. It's got like variegated leaves on it. And I actually had not seen one of these before. It is a tropical, so it can't stay outside in this region year round. It could go outside in the summertime. Well, spring and summer, probably fall as well. But winter it would have to come into the greenhouse. But I read some stuff on it. It needs to stay in indirect sunlight. Um, some of them actually can have a little bit more light, but you kind of got to work its way up to that. As far as watering goes, it needs to be watered when the soil, the top two inches become dry. So I need to make sure of that. But yeah, I thought that was such a sweet thing. My zinnias are coming up. Oh, a whole bunch of them too. That's exciting. I love them right there along the fence. And look at my sunflowers coming up all through the back of this fence. I've done that the last two years and had them growing up against the back of the fence. They're so cute there and I can stake them to the fence. So it's like a perfect spot. Egg time. It's time to get chicken feed. It's a little egg. Oh, it's beautiful out tonight. Some corn. I'm gonna pick one of these. I hate doing that, but don't want to leave two growing together. That's why I always plant a couple just to make sure in case one of them doesn't come up. But then one will take the nutrients from the other, so you gotta go ahead and take it. Keeping all this stuff for the chickens. It's like full circle around here. They provide stuff for me, they provide stuff for the garden, they provide stuff for us, and then it goes back to the chickens. What? Give me a holler nap. I'm done for the night it's starting to get dark on me but I got a lot accomplished and we'll we'll gander at it tomorrow but the corn aisle is cleaned out looks good